morning. Today is a very sunny day in Somerset and I've decided to go to Bath and scout out all the charity shops. So I saw a video on this on TikTok and a girl literally went to Bath and she looked through all the charity shops and she said it's one of the best selection of charity shops that she's ever been to. I love a charity shop haul. I love a bargain. I love saying that I haven't been shopping. I've been donating to charity. <laughs> That's what I tell my mum and my boyfriend anyway. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to make the little trip to Bath, go and have a little look around their shops. I did a car boot the other day, so I've got a little bit of cash and I should be saving it, but instead I'm going to buy clothes that fit because I have grown quite a lot since getting an office job and nothing fits and I'm just, you know, you just get really bored of your wardrobe and the stuff that's in it and I just want to have a complete refresh and get nicer clothes. I want to kind of get like a Lydia Millen vibe wardrobe which I definitely don't have the budget for but if we can get some cute pieces at a charity shop I may be able to kind of figure it out and work it out so that's what we're doing today also that is the stuff that didn't sell at the car boot that i should really be trying to sell it's currently on vintage but yeah it's just a sorry state of affairs oh i shouldn't be buying more clothes but i just love a bargain little fit check i am wearing some white jeans which i got from a charity shop for five pounds they're not branded and then this lovely little top which is actually embellished embellished um it's got like beads and stuff which do always fall off i think this is pretty little thing a long time ago um or in the style or one of those it was a long time ago um but i just think it's nice and cool it's comfy for if i'm swapping around and doing different outfits and trying things on it's kind of sunny but it's been weird weather in the uk at the moment it's been hot it's been cold it's been raining so I've just gone for this light look so hopefully I don't get cold but it's not too hot but we'll see. I'm gonna go for my uh, Fell Raven Kunkin bag today just so that I've got like hands free and then I'm also gonna take my juice power bank because I don't know if anyone else has found this but I've got an iPhone 12 at the moment. They brought out the iPhone 14 and since then my battery dies so quickly so I'm gonna take I just take one of these wherever I go because I refuse to buy a new phone. <laughs> Um, and then I'm also going to take a bottle of water and maybe a jumper, I don't know, because it's one of those funny weathers that it could rain or it could be really hot. So I might take just a light little cami to put in here. So if you're a woman, you'll understand this, but this is my little medical bag. I always take this wherever I go. It's got my name on it. Um, I actually had this handmade in Bangkok when I went and it's got like tablets, tampons and lip balm because who doesn't need all of those three in a day? I'm going all out with the white theme. The only shoes I have that slip on, these really battered white top shop kind of fake crocodile print shoes. They look horrific, but the black socks of it are really not the one. Mm, okay, maybe I'm, no, I'm just gonna go with it. They're the only shoes I have to like slip on and off um, when you potentially are trying on shoes because I literally wear shoes to death, as you can see. Um, yeah, they're easy to like slip on and off if you're trying on clothes and I don't want to be lacing things up So we're gonna we, we're gonna wear these I've arrived This is so funny because I've only ever been to Bath in December or in January where the Christmas markets around or January for my birthday And it's weird to be here in the summer. It's flipping busy. I usually get the park and ride So I park way out and get a bus in but I've parked in the center and it's a little bit stressful because it's so busy It's a Monday. So I think it must be school holidays or something but yeah we're gonna go and have a look i might get a bite to eat first because of course i'm hungry now that's always the case <laughs> even though i ate before it came out but the excitement of eating out is just too strong um but we'll see i've driven past one charity shop so at least i know where to go to start off with well that's a good start it's closed oh i should have researched this on to the next the next one is over to well the first one i wanted to go into is closed on a monday whoops and then the second one had a good collection of stuff there was some coast there was some hobs i think they had a price like that's not charity shop prices so i'm gonna keep going i almost bought a blouse for 14 pounds but then i thought you know what i might find something a bit better so yeah we're gonna go on to the next one which i think is mined and i think there are a couple of others in the same area so we'll have a little look around those
Okay, we're heading for the bridge because I think there are a couple more. I think I remember coming to a few of these with my mum before, so we're gonna walk this way and see if we can get the last few. Though we've got some good buys in the bag anyway. I'm loving the flower shops. So pretty. So here we go, Dorothy House. Okay, I have a confession. I slipped and fell into the white company, but they had a sale on top of their sale, so I couldn't help it. I have done all my charity shopping. I've done a couple of the, like the white company and a couple of nice shops. I am still on the hunt for a purse because mine is broken, but I feel like a purse is an investment, so I'm gonna wait for that one. But I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a couple of minutes because it's flipping hot. Uh, jeans was not the right thing to wear today. Um, have a drink and then go and get some lunch and then I think I'm gonna be done because I spent all the money I made doing the car boot sale and that was whoops not the intention but what did I expect when I was coming to Bath? What am I like? But yeah, I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch in a minute and then head home. <laughs> A lady just came up to me and complimented my hair, which is so sweet. I think she actually said I reminded her of someone who's recently died and it's like had a like nice step in her day because I just reminded of her, which is really, really sweet. So I'm going to take that as a compliment, bless the lady. Um, but yeah, I'm just sat at my favourite little cafe called Rosario's. I've only been here once before, but it's like full Italian food and it is gorgeous. It was so, so yummy. It's like hidden away in the nestled in the street, so I love it. It's like a hidden little gem, but yeah, enjoying my rice. Well, Arancini, I've got a I think this one's a ragu and then a sausage and gorgonzola, delish. And then I've got a dirty chai, which is a chai latte iced but with coffee in it because chai lattes don't usually come with coffee in, and I need the boost because I've shopped till I've dropped and water, of course. Okay, I'm hot, I'm bothered, I'm poor, <laughs> and I'm full up. So I think it's well and truly time to go home. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I've really shot till I drop. Oh, the guilt, the guilt. But the best thing about it is that I can say I didn't go shopping. I went donating to charity. <laughs> I don't know how, how else to, oh my God, my hair. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how I call it. I've spent all my car boot money, but that's what it was for. It was my budget to, oh well, that's not very well placed, is it? Um, it was my budget to kind of put clothes into my wardrobe that I couldn't, I didn't have. So yeah, hopefully I've got some lovely pieces that are actually fit me and I'll actually love and not just put it on because I'm forcing myself to put it on because I've got it in my wardrobe. So who wants a haul? I want to go through everything I've bought. Start off with the stuff that I obviously got from the charity shops because I was a little bit naughty and bought some new things but it, I just slipped and fell into the white company. It was a horrible, uh, nasty accident and it couldn't be helped. But I only bought one thing so not too bad. So I first off went into, the one I actually knew about was shirt on Mondays. So I went into, do you know what, I can't even remember. But I showed you the outside of it. My favourite one out of all of them was British Heart Foundation because they seem to be the best priced. They seem to have the best stuff as well and the lady in there was really, really friendly. So that was my favourite. Um, I, I would have tried to go in order of how I bought it but that's just not how they're in the bag. So let's go off with, I don't usually like buying shoes secondhand because it's kind of a little bit gross if you think about it. But I am in need of some new shoes. The ones you saw me put on this morning are so tired and knackered that I obviously need new ones. And it's so hard to find shoes that are comfortable that don't rub my feet because usually I wear shoes and they completely rub my feet. And it's just, whenever I can find a pair that are comfy, I will wear them until they literally fall off my feet. So I'm gonna, I found some elegant ones. These ones are from Cara London. And they are quite worn, like the bases, you can see that they have had some love, but I think they're leather because this bit here hasn't been worn at all. As in like, as in like what? As in like worn away. 
So these are, I've, I've not owned a pair of sandals like this. I feel like they're a little bit more elegant than what I've been wearing, which is what I'm trying to achieve. I want to feel a little bit more elegant because I just don't, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. So these were the one choice. These were £8.75, which is a little bit pricey, but I found everything was pricey. So I think it was just bath prices. Um, which is what you get when you want to go upmarket charity shopping. So £8, which in reality, if you saw a pair of leather shoes for £8 in the shops, you would like completely buy them within a heartbeat. So there's those ones. And hopefully if they're leather, then they'll last a little bit longer. And then from the same shop, I've brought you a little bit closer because now I feel like I don't have to shout because I was literally shouting before. Okay, so from the same shop, I bought these pair, which are June, which is a very good... I think it's a very good brand it's definitely something my mum used to wear so i'm just going off my mum because you know you've got to follow footsteps in your own mother uh these are also leather and these were nine pound fifty but they look although they don't look new there they look a lot newer than the other ones and again going off the same kind of cut very comfortable but feminine stylish elegant of sorts but still like i can't walk in heels so these are perfect that being said, I was naughty and bought a pair. Did I bring them home? Yeah, I thought I'd left them in the shop then, which is something completely and utterly something I would do. Um, that being said, I did buy some beautiful heels. And no, I don't know where I'm gonna wear these, but these are also June. They are 9 99 which I think is really reasonable. And they are pretty new. Like, they've been worn a couple of times, but you can tell they've not been worn a lot. And they're just so pretty. And I think that is probably the highest I can ever go. Oh, and it matches my sofa. See, I clearly like this colour. <laughs> um, but these are a bit risky, but I did try them on in the shop. And they felt really sturdy and comfortable. And I felt so elegant in them that I'm just going to, like, next time I have, like, a dinner out, I'm just going to wear these. Because they're so pretty. I love them. I might do, like, a little insert clip of me wearing this stuff and trying it on. Because a lot of the clothes I didn't try on. And I'm hoping they fit. So, moving on, I then picked up, I, my in my head I wanted to buy a lot of stuff that I can wear to work as well, because at, at the moment I've been waking up in the morning so I don't usually plan my outfit, and I'm looking at my wardrobe like, ugh, I hate everything, it's either not office friendly, it's too night out alty, it's not the vibe I want, or it's too hot in the office, too cold in the office, ah. So I thought I'd pick up some work stuff. So I picked up this one. This is Jaeger. Now I feel like I've been a bit bougie boutique shopping here. Um, yeah, bougie bargains, why not? Let's go with that. So this is Jaeger and it's literally just a kind of flimsy shirt thing, but it's like an elegant t-shirt because I think some shirts look a bit, just a bit manly on me if I don't have them done nicely. So this is more, I suppose you can call them blouses, don't you, for women? Anyway, this was good. This was £8, but I think for Jaeger, that's not too bad. Um, again, I think these are kind of more my mum's style clothes, but I'm loving it. I'm loving that I'm literally a mini me of my mum. <laughs> I'm literally turning into my mum. And then this is really rogue, but we are going to Oktoberfest in Exeter in obviously October, which is like a German drinking like festival. So I saw this, which is obviously like a German, like, what do you even call it? I keep wanting to say beer keller because we used to have a pub that was called beer keller, which was like a German pub. So this is like a, I might try and find the name of it, but like a German-ish kind of dress, which I thought would be perfect to wear to Oktoberfest. Now this was quite expensive. So it, it is from the brand country line i i might research that because i have no idea what that is but it has like a little deer on it which is really cute and this apron comes off it is however a size six and i am a 10 slash 12 but i tried it on in the shop and it fit apart from the fact that the zip didn't close so everything else felt fine the length was fine the boobs were fine so what i thought i would do is literally sew like a ribbon here and have it like as a lace ribbon bodice so it was it's kind of a little bit open a little bit oh, but um which is not really usually my style but because i can zip it up to about here and then this bit's open and i thought i don't want to buy a cheap rubbish 
one of these on Amazon for like, well, I say cheap, they're not cheap, they're like 20, 30 pounds. And I didn't know what the quality was like, so I thought if I get this, one, I'm donating to charity, two, I can kind of mix it up and just add like a bodice to it. So it could look a bit cool and a little bit different. And three, it was there, so I just bought it. So that will be fun for um, October 1st, which I've never been to one of those before, but I'm really, really excited. And then this one was an absolute steal. I'm so excited. This was British Heart Foundation, the absolute best. Now, I don't know what brand this is from. I also don't know which way round it's supposed to go. So it might be one of these where you have a little bit of cleavage and then, but I feel like that's the back. Oh, it's got tags on. Okay, I didn't realise it's brand new. So this was a pound, which is insane. That's just amazing. It was on the sale rail. And I think it's something like size 12, size 14. But I thought it would be perfect for if it's hot. And it, it will go nicely with like white jeans and just perfect for the office. It's from the brand Principles and they had a lot of that brand. They did also have a lot of Dorothy Perkins. So I don't know whether it's similar vibe, but I thought for a pound, ideal. And if it doesn't look right on me, my mum will definitely wear something like that. So that was a good one. And this was another from British Heart Foundation, literally the best. Again, brand new, and it's Albacrombie and Fitch. And it's a little bodysuit. And this is size, it says small, but it does look quite big. So I'm hoping it'll fit, but it's a white number, which although I'm wearing white today, I don't usually wear white because I am so clumsy. But it was originally 45 pounds. I think this was quite expensive. So yeah, this was 15 pounds. But I think for a brand new item that was originally £45, I don't think that's too bad. So I did splurge out on that one. It's already got a stain on it. Fantastic. I don't think that was me. Oh, I'm hoping that comes out. I've got like a magic vanish bar that you can, it's like a soap bar, which you literally wipe on all stains and it pretty much gets rid of everything. So I'll just put that on there. That should be fine. And then again with the kind of thought of work i went for this one which was crew clothing it's super colorful oh it doesn't you can't really tell the colors here but it's green and pink which is completely wacky um and this was five pounds again it's still a little bit pricey but i thought i thought it'd be okay it's size 12 so i'm hoping it'll fit and it'll just be perfect with maybe some black jeans or white jeans for work so that was another work one I did buy a lot of this with work in mind, however I do spend mo the majority of my time at work, so there we go. And then I've got this blouse, again, for work, and it's a really cute stars and it has like a tie up neck. Now this is from the brand Nine by Savannah Miller, never heard of them before. Um, and this was also five pounds, but it has a really nice feel to it So it's not like that cheap viscose kind of fabric, but it's also not it's kind of a mix between silk and it's obviously definitely not silk Let me check Oh, where's the label? It's probably like a hundred percent synthetic. Oh, I'm gonna get a spare button. That's good uh, Made in Romania. Oh, yeah synthetic Oh, Debenhams. Okay. Why does it not say? Oh, 100% polyester. There we go. Not designer and not silk. <laughs> but it is cute. So yeah, that one is another good one. And then the last two things. I got this, which is from H&M. And again, I thought this would be really cute with white jeans or like pretty much anything with a skirt. It is completely see-through, so I'd have to wear like a little cami vest or like a bralette underneath that would be part of the outfit, and that was 5 dollars Again, a bit pricey considering H&M. It wouldn't have been that much more new. I suppose it probably would have, um, but it does feel like brand new and it is super cute and it's super floaty and it's perfect for this weather. So that was another cute one. And this is my favorite purchase. This was from Oxfam. And it was in their window and the poor lady poor the poor lady had to get it out but it was not a problem this is originally m s i have to stand at my sofa but it's a dress and it's super cute you literally can't see all of that but never mind um this was 10.99 
yeah this was 10.99 but that's great for m and i'm happy with that it feels like a really nice good quality fabric it's got like stretchy bits here so if you eat a lot of food which i certainly will then you if you blow not a problem and i love long fleshy dresses like this because i just love dresses so that is it for the charity shop haul okay this is the first dress I love it. This is so cute. It's great quality. It fits perfect. I've just chucked my hair up in a bun um, to make life a bit easier. But yeah, it's super cinched and it's stretchy. So if I have a big dinner, it's perfect. And this is a little bit adjustable. I can tie it how I wish. But yeah, I'm loving this one so much. So we've got the bodysuit from Abercrombie and Fitch here. I've popped it over some leggings and it is great. It's a little bit see-through, so I would wear like a white bra with it. But I love the stretch. I love the fact that it cinches you in with these details. And it's just super comfy. If I've got like a relaxed, chill day, I can look good, but feel super, super comfy. So yeah, that one's a win as well. This is the starry shirt. Oh stuck on the buttons um i love this this is super cute it's a good good oh it's a good fit i love that this detailing it's a little bit different it's probably a bit low cut for me for work um but because we've got this flowing down i think it's okay um tucked in with some jeans or just some work trousers next is the jaeger shirt and i am obsessed with this this is such a lovely color it's a lovely feel it fits really well and it just feels so quality and we've got the one pound bargain and i love it so much you can tie it up here i have tucked it in because i'll wear it with trousers um because it's really long and awkward otherwise but this is the back it's super super cute and yeah i'll just tuck it in or even tie it up and have it like as a I don't know, I just think it's really cute and for a pound, you just can't go wrong. So we have this one and to be honest with you, it is not as see-through as I was expecting. Obviously I'm wearing a dark bra and I can always wear a either a bralette or a skin colour bra so it blends in a little bit more. But this is definitely not as see-through, maybe it is the closer I get, it's not as see-through as I was expecting. So yeah, this is another really cute one, perfect for summer when it's super hot in the office. And we've got this one, which is also perfect fitting. I love how it's got details, has it? It's kind of shaped, it hasn't got details, but it is shaped. Um, so yeah, this one is actually more see-through than I expected. Um, but again, I'll pair it with a nude colour bra so that you can't really see it through. But yeah, I'm loving the details of the crew clothing and I'm just loving the colours. They're super, super fun. I've just popped my white company shoes on and I am loving them. They're so super dainty and I just feel like a little pixie in these. I absolutely love the shape of them. I've got very wide feet anyway, but... These are kind of fitting. I, I can tell that they might rub on the backs a little bit, so I might have to put little um, little pads on, but once they wear in, they're really squeaky as well. Um, but once they wear in, I feel like they're gonna fit like a glove. I absolutely love these. <laughs> Excuse my little pile of tags. My little, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but there's a particular charity shop smell that is just not the one. So they're going straight in the wash. But yeah, I'm loving these. All in all, I do think today was a success. I think the charity shops, oh, I'm trying to get my hair out. The charity shops are a lot more expensive than I expected, but they did have a lovely selection of like clothes. They had hobs, they had coats, they had some really, really nice bits and bobs. Um, it was super busy, but it was just a lovely vibe. There were a load of Americans, there were a load of Japanese. There was a lot of tourists around, but everyone was so friendly that it was just such a nice day out. Um, but yeah, now I'm super exhausted. I'm gonna go and list a load of clothes on Vintage. If you wanted to check it out, I'll leave the link below. Um, if there are any bits and bobs that you wanted to buy, I'm always open to offers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go through my wardrobe again and get rid of everything I hate because I just am so ready for a refresh. So yeah, we'll see you on the next one.